him. Wilkerson flashback to Sonoma. Tim Wilkerson, T-Pad, who gets there first? Oh, yeah, you got it. Tim Wilkerson, who goes back to back. He's got two in a row as he comes now to Brainerd. And Tim Wilkerson yeah. is now on our NHRA race day. So not a bad day for the fans here in Brainerd, I'd have to say. Tim, let's talk a little bit about this team. Struggled at the beginning of the season, but right now, are, are you hitting your perfect stride? Well, I don't know if it's a perfect stride, but it's a good stride, that's for sure. Yeah. Financially and emotionally, it's great for my team. You know, the guys, we always say the ET, ET slip depicts the crew's attitude and, and their work. And boy, when we're running good, they're, they're doing good. And that makes me look good as a driver and a tuner when they're doing good. Well, Tim, and I want to ask you about, you know, you contended for the championship last year. You got Tony Pedregon's situation here. You don't have to worry about your crew chief quitting on you, yeah, hopefully, anyway, yeah, since you are not. the crew chief. Um, how do you think that's going to affect that team? Well, you know, I've, I've been in Tony's position before, and uh, I've seen them kind of diff them kind of deals. And the problem that I see with all of that is you tend to race defensively, and that's the bad thing for a championship contending team. I've been there on the starting line thinking, okay, I can't screw this up. I can't throw the rods out. I have to keep the tires on the car. Car. Is it is it going to ruin the tires if I step off early? You know, them things go through your mind when you're financially burdened as a team. Um, I think that's one reason we did so well last year. We've had more money than we ever had. Dick Levi, he's supporting our team to the utmost. And uh, I just think that the problem that you're going to see with Tony's team is maybe some things like that. You don't think it affects you, but believe me, I can tell you, as, as a driver, crew chief, owner, it affects you. You think about it every time you go to the start line. Boy, I, this is the one I can't screw up because I need this round. Well, most importantly, those back-to-back -back wins have got you in a very nice position in the points. How do you feel about being in that number four spot here with three rounds, with three races to go until we start the countdown to one? Well, I think that I'll really have to screw up bad to not get myself into the countdown. There's yeah. no chance no chance for me to do that that I could see, but you never know. It's very possible, and, uh, you know, the cars in front of us are great cars, and the cars behind us are great cars, so we just have to keep our head on our shoulders and go some rounds. You've also struggled like a guy like the name of Robert Hyde has, too. Yeah. DQ, that was a big surprise this week. Boy, that big was a surprise. shame. I think if we'd had one more qualifier, there's no doubt Robert would have been in, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? I've been there myself too you cannot screw up and these this uh, this is really a uh, challenging racetrack it was challenging the first day and then the second day it really was better but you know we messed up so we ended up yeah. being 15th so tell you what anybody thinks that the fuel car is easy to drive and easy to tune and work on they're wrong and you Come can see out. by John Force's guys they're yeah. the best in the business you know and like Dickie Venables like you said he's going to be picked up by somebody you can see that happen and there's no doubt about that because Dickie's one of the best out there Tony's probably one of the best drivers so they're all going to get by though believe me let's talk about another Pedregon he's in our matchup to watch and it really is, affects the points has Robert Hyde in it as well because this is all down around that number 10 spot yeah a big matchup for Cruz Pedregon and Matt Hagen because it's all as you know it's also important to get oh. in that countdown to one and uh, Cruz Pedregon and Matt Hagen definitely both need this first round win. Let's go to a quick fan question. Turn it over to the fans. I know you like it when we do that. We've got Sammy Grano here. She's from Ontario. Go ahead, fire away. you got a question for Tim. Hey, Tim, don't you think it's time to hand over the keys to your son, Daniel? Oh, <laughs> And did you catch the A at the end? I like that. that huh? <laughs> no, I tell you what, uh, there's a lot of days I think it's time to turn the keys over to my son Daniel. But yeah, I tell you, I, I still enjoy driving there, Sammy. And uh, I, let me tell you, you're not the first young girl to tell me that, believe me. <laughs> he, uh, he's a good boy, and uh, he's, he's got a future in drag racing. We're going to get him through school, I think, first if we can. And we're, he's going to school to be an accountant, so we need your money counted. You call my boy. There so. you go. <laughs> and, and by the way, sorry, Daniel, we, we tried. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I wish we'd had a little more time to talk about a red hot matchup too. You got Ron Caps. Yeah, that's going to be yeah, tough. round number one. But you can turn uh, back, tune back in with us tonight at 10 o'clock to find out how that goes. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tim Wilkerson, how about that? That is good, good stuff indeed. Good luck and have a safe race day.